Do you have a system for sharing your day-to-day -day activities with your families? If not, we are going to talk about some different alternatives you can use today. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue, back for another daycare day video. And today we're gonna to be talking about things like Facebook groups, Bright Wheel app, and things like that. Ways to communicate with your families what you do every day in multiple different ways that you can choose from and what are some of the features and benefits of all of those things. So in today's day and age, uh, I'm sure you all have noticed that parents wanna know what's going on when their kids are in your daycare. And there are all kinds of ways to do this and pros and cons to all of them. Um, but I just thought we'd kind of walk through them so you guys can get an idea. Now, some of you may not communicate what you do with your parents besides just telling them at the end of the day. Some of you may, you know, give a rundown for infants, but other than that, you don't really do anything. And some of you may like give tons of updates throughout the day. It really, you know, just depends on your preference. For me personally, I think um, not only is it helpful for parents to see what you're doing throughout the day, you know, just like an overview for that you send out to all parents so they're all seeing the same thing so that they can talk about it with their child at the end of the day because little kids, you know, often won't remember <laughs> what they did earlier in the day just off the top of their head. So it can be helpful for parents to kind of like look at pictures with them or know what they're doing so they can talk to them about it. Um, and it also is like a really great advertising thing because the more parents see of what you're doing, the more they'll be like, wow, look at what you're doing at daycare. Like, wow, I'm gonna tell my friends about this. And you know, it's really helpful because if they're gone for like nine hours a day and you don't tell them anything or you just get a little blip at the end of the day um, where you're just like, yep, we did this craft, they may not have any clue what else is going on that you do. And we all know as providers, we do a lot with our kids. Um, even if we're just like play-based, there's so many things that kids do in nine hours every day. So it can be really a great advertising tool. Parents can show their friends or their family who can use word of mouth as well. And if you're taking pictures and putting them somewhere, then you can use those for advertising, you know, as long as you have parents' permission to use photos of their child or you block out their face or whatever. So it's like a win-win for everybody. So I'm gonna talk about what I do personally and then I'm gonna talk about some other options as well. So what I do, I have a private Facebook group, so it's secret, people can't like search for it. And I invite um, my daycare families to that and I tell them they can also invite, you know, family members if they want. So there are some grandparents and aunts and uncles and stuff in there as well who love to see what their, you know, grandkids, nieces, nephews are doing during the day as well, which is awesome. And then they can comment and it's also great because then the families have a connection with the other parents because a lot of times they don't see the other parents, don't know the other parents. So that way they're all seeing that the other families are on there on Facebook. So if they want to have a get together, let's say one kid really likes another kid and they want to have a play date, they can get a hold of the parents um, and that kind of thing, which is really cool as well. So what I do on there every day during nap, um, I look through my photos from the day. I try to take a photo of what we did for a craft. If we went outside, I take a photo just to, you know, show that we actually went outside. Um, Sometimes if we're having like a special day, I'll take a picture of each kid with a special craft or whatever we did and I'll take a picture of each child and I'll put their name in the caption so that parents can kind of start to get to know which kid is which, which is helpful as well. And then I take a picture of our lunch and then, um, and sometimes I'll take a picture of the books we read and stuff like that, anything we did. And then every day at nap, I spend like 10 minutes just going on my Facebook app on my phone go to my group, I add the photos, and then I just give a little description of what we did. Sometimes a little funny tidbit of the day because it's just fun to share those. And then what we had for lunch, if the kids liked it, if they didn't, you know, that kind of thing, and then post it out. A lot of parents like to like and love and comment on things, which is really cool too, to have that interactive nature to it, especially since I'm alone most of the day with these kids. It's nice to have a little bit of adult interaction, I guess you could say. 
And then the parents, you know, by the time they come to pick up, a lot of them have seen it. So they know they can ask questions. They can talk to their child. Like, did you see a leprechaun for St. Patrick's Day? Did he turn your milk green? That's so cool. And the kids are like, how did you know? And it's just so fun. So that's like my main way of communicating with the parents of what we did that day. And I also like that because I can put any reminders in there. Um, I can post our pictures of our calendars in there. I can link to our newsletter because I do a newsletter through email, through my Wix website. So I could put a link to that, which is nice as well. And you know, just anything, I could put files of like um, documents and stuff in there, which is just really, really cool. So, and then I have complete control as the admin. I can delete people when they've, you know, left my program. So it's very private and safe overall. And then parents um, have to sign a thing about like not sharing those photos out if there's other kids in them. But Anyway, so that's what I do for that. And then what I do for infants, if I have an infant in my care, I have just like little, I found online, like little printables of like how often I fed them, what they, how much they ate, how many poop diapers, pee diapers, and then just general notes, that kind of thing, when they slept. Um, that's just to give the parents kind of an idea of what their routine is like and how the baby did that day. So I just do that by hand right now. But there are other options you can do. Um, you could just like text things throughout the day, just at the end of the day, text stuff to all the parents um, or email things to all the parents. You could have a blog where you write about your day or that kind of thing. You could do it on paper for all the kids if you wanted. That's still definitely an option. Or there are a couple apps that you can use um, on your phone or on your computer that could help with this as well. And this is something I would probably like to do but um, to totally change my system is kind of a learning curve and a lot of time and getting the parents on board so I haven't done it yet but there are two apps that I'm aware of that you can use there's bright wheel and there's kinder lime I have used the free version of bright wheel just to try it out um, but I didn't have any other parents on it so I you know didn't fully use it as much as I could have if the parents were using it too but um, overall, I really liked it. I like that you can like send photos to just one parent if it's just their child or you can send it to all the parents. You can give little reminders like, um, hey, don't forget to pay me at the end of the day or whatever it is or they had an accident and you could just send it through there whereas normally I would text about stuff like that just to give parents a heads up but you can do it all in this one app. And then you can also do all the baby related stuff through there too. You can talk about diaper changes and how much they ate. You can do that for all the kids too, all in that one app, which is really nice. Parents can, I think, um, write back to you as well and say like, how's the day going? And it's all in one app, easy to keep track of. Um, so it's not clogging up your phone with like text messages and you can find all of it if you have to refer back, which is really cool. It also has billing, which is really cool. You can bill parents through that as well, which I, I really like that feature, which is one reason why I wanna to switch to that, to have it all in one place, which I think is awesome. And you could even keep track of like the kids' information, their illnesses, immunizations, their address, um, pickup information, all that kind of stuff, all in one app, which is just a really functional, awesome thing to do if you're gonna go that route. And I'm pretty sure Kinder Lime is very similar. Um, you have to pay for that. You get like a free 30 days, I believe, from what I was seeing on the website. But it sounds to be very similar. I couldn't really find like a demo video of it, but um, you can go check that one out as well. I think there's probably benefits to each. I've not fully used either of them, so I can't really say, but it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't heard of them before and are interested in doing something like that. So those are just a few different ways to share information with your families. I would love to know what you guys do to share about your day with your families and what the benefits are. And if there's something I didn't mention, be sure to leave that in the comments below too because I think that's helpful for anyone. And as always, I will see you next week for another daycare day video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.